All right, so we're sort of checked in. We arrived a little bit early, but the room's not ready. That's our fault. But we wanted to get here in time just to hang out and get the sun while it's here. Man, it's been, it's been raining and cloudy for almost two weeks, which is kind of depressing, but we finally got a good day. So we're making a beach day. All right, got the key. We're all ready to check in. Did you see the room already? Yeah. Let's check it out. Hey. So this is the deluxe villa. Got a deal on Agoda. I'll put it up on the screen right now. Not too bad for what you get. It's nice and cold. The air con, little table here, place to hang our clothes. And uh, outside they also have a place to hang towels and stuff, which is really nice. I love that. And just a tiny, simple bathroom. Perfect. So it seems like they don't have a restaurant anymore or it's under construction. So we're going to go take a little walk, see if we can find some food. We're actually not too far from Dumaluan Beach. So for sure we can get something there. But let's enjoy the sun, enjoy the beach, go for a walk. So we found this place, it's, uh, the menu says Marilu Resort, but I have a feeling this is actually Dumaluan Resort, like the main resort. Uh, in other videos, you've seen me at the sort of like the semi-public beach, which is also called Dumaluan Resort, which is a little bit confusing, but yeah, just about a three, four minute walk from Panglao Grande where we're staying. Uh, I think we'll try one of the other restaurants up along the beach here for dinner, but for now, we're just gonna relax, have something to eat, and then we're gonna go for a swim. So there's no more sun. What happened? Basically, we fell asleep after lunch. Uh, had a good rest, so that's really good. Um, now we're at the beach. Gonna go for a little swim here soon. I think we're gonna have a couple beers, which I bought at the little convenience store inside. It's a little drive away to get to the main road, but they do have some water, beer, juice, and a few things. It has everything you need here, except for the restaurant, which we're just gonna go out later. But for now, you wanna swim? Yes. Okay, let's go for a swim. Good morning. Man, what a beautiful day. Like I mentioned yesterday, here in Bahal, it's been, been quite rainy and quite gloomy for the last almost month or so. Every once in a while we get a nice day, but the last two days here have been really great. It's morning time, having my coffee. We're about to check out soon, but I just wanted to go over a couple little things about the resort in case you're thinking about coming here or staying here. So the name is Panglao Grande Resort. It's right between Dumaluan and White Beach. Now you'll see on Agoda that there's some reviews that say, oh, there's no access to the resort. That has actually changed within the last year. They do have access to a private road now. So you can come. The only problem is it does cost. So you, I think for a bike, it was 30 pesos at a car, maybe somewhere like 50 or 80, I'm not quite sure. Um, but there is a road that comes down. When we came, it was actually quite slippery. There's tons of uh, mud and water just from the rain that, over the last little bit. So uh, if you are on a bike and you're not super confident, you may wanna take a car or maybe walk. You can also just uh, drive and park at Dumaluan Beach and then walk over. It's about a five minute walk, it's not so bad. 
So there are actually two sides to the resort. There's the main section where you've seen me um, yesterday, mostly where I was taking the videos. Uh, they also have what's called an annex, and I believe that's where a lot more of the family rooms are. Those family rooms, they don't face the ocean, but they're, it's right beside the ocean, so it's, it's really great too. Uh, but if you are looking for the ones with the huts, that is gonna be their villas. For the price, the rooms are quite good. It's, I believe it was a one seven or 2,000 pesos is what I paid, and to have it right here beside the white beach is, I think, a really good price. Uh, the rooms were really comfortable. Uh, the air con was nice and cold. The CR, the washroom, for anybody that's maybe not from the Philippines, it's very local style. There's no uh, toilet seat, and you may have to use the bucket of water to actually flush it sometimes. But hey, for what you're getting and the place you're getting it in, I think it's not so bad. But if that's something that concerns you, you may want to look for somewhere else, that's fine. So just back here is where the restaurant used to be. Uh, unfortunately, in Typhoon Odette, it got destroyed, so they haven't been able to rebuild the restaurant yet. But uh, for now, you can actually go to Dumaluan, which is where we were yesterday. Uh, if you want to go a little bit farther, there's also uh, Bahal Beach Club and South Palms. Or you could, if you have your own car or bike, you can drive back out to the road, head into Alona or any of the other restaurants that are here in the area. And if you'll notice, this morning it's actually really low tide, so you're going to have little sandbars and things, which is great for the kids. Maybe not so much if it's super sunny like this. At high tide, it actually comes up about a meter and a half, which is really great for swimming. Right now, you end up having to go pretty far out, but if you just want to relax in the water, it's totally okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna head back home, have some work to do, need to do groceries and all that sort of stuff. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. See you next time, bye.